We are here at the DNC National Convention in Chicago, and I'm joined by Representative Emmanuel Cleaver, and uh, it's, it's so good to have you here with us. Last night was a big night, the first night of the DNC Convention uh, 2024. President Joe Biden gave his speech, and what, how would you describe his speech? Because he wanted to say the best decision he made in his presidency was picking Kamala Harris as his running mate. What a great way to pass on the torch. Well, he passed on the torch, and I think the way he did it is going to be studied uh, by historians long after we're all gone. I think this is going to be one of the most significant chapters in any story about these times, and that is where the, a president of the United States who could have had the nomination, to make no mistake about it, uh, but chose uh, to pass the torch to a younger person. And I think, frankly, the American public was screaming for uh, some kind of transition to uh, a younger uh, population of politicians. Uh, I have four children, and I was in arguments with my own children wow. over this issue, over uh, Biden. And uh, before that, my wife and I were very, very concerned that we were going to lose a generation. But now these young people have come on board. They are excited. They are fired up. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing in, uh, on, in everyday life uh, some level of enthusiasm that I haven't seen ever. Uh, I, and, and I've been around a while. I've been in. So uh, this convention is, is, will be memorable. It will be studied by a political scientist for years and years to come. The truth of the matter is, as vice president, it's difficult to sometimes see uh, the person who is the vice president because they're often in the shadows working on uh, administrative, uh, the administration's programs. But when she steps into the spotlight, you think people will see a different uh, Kamala Harris than, than the person they've known before. Yes, I mean, she, she played her role well. She never tried to step in front of uh, the president, and even if she had some uh, disagreement with the, uh, with the president, she never let it seep out. And I think that's what presidents all hope for in a vice president. Both of these particular people, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, have dedicated their adult life to public service. Uh, Joe Biden has done it for five decades, and uh, Kamala Harris has been doing it since she became a young prosecutor. Uh, what does it say? What what galvanizes a person to get into public service like yourself? Well, service is, is the rent we pay uh, for living in God's world. Uh, and we all uh, have rent to pay. And I think they have paid it as well as, as, as any. Uh, uh, and when you do this, you, you have to understand you're not going to get rich. You know, if we were not put on earth to, to do something for others, why are we here? Mm. I, mean, I can't think of any other reason to just hang out. We're here to have fun and, and uh, you know, just have parties. I mean, no. Uh, we're here to make the world a better place. Yeah. Things are tough, but if we, if we help each other, keep our nose clean, uh, life is still bearable. Congressman, uh, life is still bear bearable. You are a minister. You are a man committed to purpose-driven living. Therefore, what is your hope for America? Well, I hope America, the people in America come to the conclusion that, first of all, uh, we're not a Christian nation. I am a Christian. I studied, I have a master's degree in theology. I pastored the church for 38 years. We are not a Christian nation. When I say that, uh, I am saying that uh, we cannot uh, beat people into practicing uh, Christianity or any other religion. Uh, we are a, a multiracial multi-faith nation and and everybody's faith matters uh and in fact jesus said at one point um there are others not of this fold we must bring them also i mean jesus would not say well let's go to war and kill people i mean people have ki been killing people in the name of religion almost since the creation of this planet and so uh we we are a nation uh of people who can uh live among other people who believe differently and i hope that we never stray from that. I cherish the fact that we can tolerate other, other religions and not uh, feel that we've been trampled upon. Congressman, I want to thank you for your time. Good to be with right you. Right here at the DNC. Good to see you. Thank you.